Moving further, the next important concept is the GitHub branching. So whenever a developer wants to develop a new feature, then that particular developer wants to have their own local branch so that he can experiment, he can test and he can develop his feature. And later on that feature, once it is available, once he has tested, then he can do or make it available into our main branch by merging that change. So for that reason, branching is really necessary. And this is one of the most widely used concept of a GitHub throughout the industry. So let's take a look onto the branching and how we can create our own branch to create our own local copy of our code database. Let's talk about the branching. And before we talk about the branching, let's try to understand what is your main or a master branch. So here onto the screen, you can see this is the readme file, which we have pushed into our GitHub repository. This is the GitHub repository. But key thing to remember over here, what is the branch of this particular GitHub repository? So here you can see this is the main branch of your GitHub repository. And this is the main branch from where you are going to deploy your code to the dev, test and production environment. And this particular branch, which is your main branch, is need to be protected from the unverified code. So you are going to put your only verified and tested code into this main branch. OK, so then the question comes like how I'm going to develop the code for which I want to develop and test on my machine. So for that, what we are going to do, we are just going to create a new branch, which is a copy of this particular branch. So let's say that you are going to create your own code and the code is like a new file one, which is where your code is residing and how you are going to push this code to this particular branch, uh, the main branch, but to push uh, into that particular branch, you need to create your own local branch first. So what you're going to do, you're just going to create your own branch. All right. So this particular branch is just going to be a copy of this particular main branch. All right. So here in this particular branch, you are just going to develop your own code, develop and test your code. And it is not going to make any direct change over here. All right. So let's assume that you have created your uh, code, which is this one. And you also created your own branch, which is the copy of this particular one. All right. So once you created both of it, then what you're going to see, you will have the readme file, which is this one over here, which you can see. This will be the file which will always be present because you have tried to create a clone, which you have tried to copy the exact same file from the existing branch. That's done. OK, after that, what you did is you have created this new file over here. So this new file has to be pushed into your this particular branch. All right. So here you're later on, once you have uh, done your changes and everything, then you are going to put your change over here. So although the file name is looking different over here, but in general, uh, the thing is like this is your original copy of the file, but this is the change or this is the new code which you're trying to push into the main branch or which you want to develop. OK, so now you are going to push these both the file inside your branch. And after that, once you have verified and tested and uh, done all the checks, then later on, you're going to do the merge into this particular branch over here. So this particular file will going to come and look over here, present over here. So this is how the whole branching works. It looks very complicated right now, but once we are going to do the actual demo, then it will look very simple. So this is the overall concept of a branching and how the branching works. Let's try to create our first branch from our GitHub wrapper. So here you can see onto the screen. So this is our GitHub wrapper, which is our present, which is present over here. And this is your main branch. And here you can see the count, which is only one branch. So let's try to create our first branch. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on branch over here. And here you can see the button which you can see on the right side, which is a new branch. So let's click on that one and create our new branch. So here, this is the option which is telling you to enter your uh, branch name. So here uh, we can say my first custom branch. And then click on create new branch over here. And here you can see your branch has been created. So right now, if you go and take a look onto GitHub repository, then here you can see there are two branches which you can see over here. So there are two branches which is available right now.
Okay, so if you click on onto this particular button over here, then you will see there are two branches. One is the default one, which is a main one, and uh, this is your uh, custom branch which you have just created. And this is your active branch on which you are currently working or going to work. All right. But in a way, uh, there are two branches which is available and now we can work on this particular branch which is our first custom branch. Here is my terminal. So let's take a look where we are onto my terminal. So uh, I'm going to run the command pwd and here you can see I am into the directory where I have previously cloned my branch. All right. But there is still a difference between the repository which I have cloned and the branch which I have created from the UI because from the UI I have created this particular branch but on my local terminal or my local working laptop I still uh, don't have that latest branch. So to do that we need to fetch that particular branch or we need to retrieve or we need to refresh our local laptop branch. Okay, so how to do that? But before that, let's try to verify how many branches it is showing right now. So if you run the command git branch followed with the dash and a, then it should show you the branches. So here you can see it is only having a one branch and which is right now, uh, which is right now is your main branch. All right. Now, how to fetch it? So you are going to run the command git fetch because uh, you have created from the UI, but you have not refreshed your local uh, uh, terminal or your local working directory where you have cloned the repository. Anyway, so now I have run the command git fetch. So it should fetch that information. And here you can see uh, it is able to fetch that new branch, which we have just created. And if I run the command git branch A, here you can see and run it, then here you can see the branch is reflected over here. So which means that uh, the branch which you have created is now available locally onto your uh, working laptop or desktop wherever you are working. And after that we can switch to that particular branch and then we can make a change into that particular branch. Now we need to use this particular branch which is available onto my local laptop. But right now the current active branch which you can see is green and which is your main branch. So as I told you uh, previously that uh, we don't need to work on to this particular main branch over here. So let me re draw that particular diagram over here. So we don't want to work on to this particular main branch. We want to work on to this new branch which we are creating, although the actual name is my custom branch, but we just want to work on to this particular branch right now. So okay, so how to do that? So close this one, go back to your terminal, uh, clear the screen over here, and the command which you're going to use is git uh, checkout and after that you need to enter the branch name so here uh, I'll copy the name from here my first custom branch and then paste it over here and here you can see now the branch has been switched which you can see over here it has been switched and then you can verify whether you have actually switched or not then you can run the command git then branch and then you can run the command a and here you can see the green color shows that you have switched to this particular branch which you have just created so which means now you can work on to your local branch and then from there you can start making the changes and which will be only affecting this particular branch and it will not touch this particular main branch unless and until you merge your changes and don't worry i'm showing all of these things from my terminal but i'm gonna switch to the uh, visual studio code or intellij and then we are gonna see the same thing same setup we can do from the ui which is very intuitive and very easy to use so after that we are gonna switch to visual studio code and from there also i'm gonna show you how we can create a branch from there how we can fetch it and how we can make the changes and how we can push it but let's just first focus on to the terminal because terminal terminal is the CLI. Uh, if you don't have anything, then you need to use the terminal. And sometimes terminals really becomes handy when you don't have uh, access to your code onto the server because on server you don't have a uh, Visual Studio code or IntelliJs. So those are some corner cases which happens very rarely. But in such cases, you need to rely on the terminal or the CLI of your Git. Now uh, we are working on to this our particular branch. So let's try to create our first file. So let me take a look onto our uh, diagram. So here you can see the 
we can put any custom name to our uh, file which is this one my new change okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to my terminal and here i'm gonna create a file so i can run the command touch my yeah we can put any name so my new file in branch and then you can put uh, let's say dot py or txt whatever all right so you have added this file let's run the command uh, ls and here you can see the file has been added over here not added but the file is locally created onto your laptop and if you go and take a look onto the repository so if i go over here and from here if i switch to the branch then here you can see here we have not pushed our changes we have not committed our changes over here so it's still showing me the readme file because these changes are still available locally on your laptop okay so now we need to we have added this one so we have created this file so now we need to push this file into this particular branch so that is going to be our next task now how to commit and add that particular file so for that you need to learn one more command and that command is git status so here i'm going to run that command git status and here it is going to show you the current uh, status of your repository so here you need to be careful about reading the colors of that particular file name so if you see over here then it is showing you red in color which means this file is only present onto your laptop and git is not aware about that particular file and if you need to uh, like uh, push that particular file into your branch which is uh, this branch my cust first custom branch then you need to make git aware about this particular file and how you can make git aware about this particular file then you need to run the command git add and then the file name so here i'm going to add this particular file name over here and then hit enter all right and after that you make git aware about this particular file then the next command which you can again run is the git status to verify that the git is aware about that file or not so here i'm going to run the command git status once again and here you can see that the color uh, or the name of the file color has been changed to green which you can see so previously before adding this particular file it was in red color um, here you can see this is the command so this command after i executed then it has changed to the green colors which means git is now aware about this particular file and he git knows that i am gonna commit and push this particular file all right so now uh, we have uh, make the git aware about this particular file by running the git add command so now the next thing is we need to commit this particular file and then we are going to push that particular file okay i'm going to clear the screen over here the next command which we need to run is git commit so for that we need to specify the message also because what kind of a change you are trying to commit so you need to tell git that hey this file contains this uh, type of code or this type of feature or this kind of a new development which i'm doing onto my local uh, laptop so here i'm gonna run the git commit command so git commit and then you need to specify dash m which uh, signifies the message what kind of a message you want to add in over here so here i'm going to add a like a feature then i will use abbreviation so this is a, one of the practices which we follow in the industry so i'm going to add fitch uh, for feature and then i'm going to add a colon so here i can type in my custom message and be little uh, like innovative with your custom message so that any other developer can understand that message and can understand what you're trying to commit and push into your github repository so here i'm gonna write this is my first file in git repo okay after that you can just hit enter and here you can see that it is showing you that one file has changed and created mode so it is basically telling you that you have committed one file which means this file is ready to be pushed into your branch so right now if you take a look and refresh this one so the file is still not available over here because we have not pushed that particular file into the branch yet we only committed we only finalized our changes and we thought okay now we have finalized our changes the feature which we are developing and let's commit this side of code into our branch 
So this change is still available onto your local machine. So if you by any chance or accidentally delete your whole repository, then you will not be able to retrieve that particular piece of code because it has not been pushed to your branch yet. Okay. All right. So now we have committed or added our message, which you can see over here. The next thing which we are going to do, we are going to push this particular file to your branch. All right, so let's push the file and the command which I'm going to run over here is the git push command. So here uh, type in git push and then hit enter. And here you can see uh, the file has been pushed to our first branch which we have just created. So let's take a look onto our browser and here you can see the file which is present over here is the readme file and I have not refreshed the page yet. So let me refresh this page over here and here you can see our branch uh, has a new more file over here. So this is how uh, we are going to create our branch and we are going to push our first change into our GitHub branch. The next thing which I'm going to show you how you can merge your changes into the main branch, which is like your central branch from where the code is actually deployed. So what I'm going to do now, like we are going to assume that uh, our changes are final and we have pushed our final verified changes into our own local branch, which is this one, my first custom branch. And after that, we are going to create a pull request to our main branch.